So now in this video we're putting together a few circuit fragments that I covered in earlier videos. We have a 555 timer in A stable mode the output keeps going high or low. When the output is high it's providing as close to 5 volts as it can. It falls a bit short of that though we're going to actually measure that and uh, the red LED lights up. When the output's low it makes a pretty close to direct connection to ground right there the blue LED lights up and uh, so in any case we also have it feeding to a transistor. So the transistor is turning on when the output's high. This is an NPN bipolar junction transistor, the 2N3904. All it has to do is provide a little bit of current, hardly any, to the transistor. When a little bit of current is flowing through, the transistor turns on and this red LED turns on. So this red LED has pretty much the full 5 volts of the supply voltage. We're using 5 volts, whereas uh, this one's probably fallen a bit below 4. And it does look like the transistor one is a little brighter. And because uh, you can kind of see like the body there when that one lights up. Whereas this body kind of gets hidden a little bit more. But in uh, any case, that uh, looks pretty good there too. These are both brand new uh, red LEDs because they kind of fade over time. So it's not making a dramatic difference. But uh, if you absolutely need that full supply voltage, this is how you would go about it if you are switching a uh, circuit. The three circuit fragments we're looking at, so I did videos on each one of these, and I generally assume you already know them, but as a quick review, we need current to go through the LED for it to light up, and to control current going through the LED or not, we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor switch. So it's in series from collector to emitter, that has to be conducting. To get the collector to emitter conducting, we need a small amount of current from base to emitter. And so that will happen when the output's high, as close to 5 volts as it can get. It's probably going to fall short of 4 volts. But uh, in any case, when it goes high, as close to 5 volts as it can get, we'll get current going through there. And then you'll get a multiple amount of current going from collector to emitter. And uh, we'll know if the transistor's conducting fully, as far as the LED and resistor are concerned. They will be the ones limiting the current. By uh, measuring the voltage across the load, we will have pretty close to spot on 5 volts. Maybe we'll lose a spec with the transistor, but it'll be really close. So, to set the high and a low, we have the 555 timer wired in A stable mode. So the capacitor will charge up to 2 thirds supply voltage. Pin 6 will say to pin 7, discharge the capacitor. Then the capacitor will discharge till it gets 1 third supply voltage. And then pin 2 will say stop discharging the capacitor. And it will start charging again. Just keeps alternating. That's what A stable does. And finally, we'll look at those voltages. So here's my pocket oscilloscope. There's the uh, cable there. Comes to these alligator clips over here. And these clips, I just clip them to jumpers and then tack the uh, jumper there into the board. Then I can move the uh, jumper really easy. So we're going to put that to ground, the negative supply. You can see for this output, since it's a direct output, instead of using a transistor to uh, switch it, it goes right to the LED and then the LED res protective resistor goes to ground right there. And so when it comes to measuring the output voltage, we can either go to the output right there. And you can see it's uh, just shy of 4 volts. We got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, just a bit shy right there. And uh, we really want, though, for this circuit, for whatever reason, the full 5 volts of the power supply right there. And we can go to the LED instead of directly at the output. We'll get the same voltage. Now, when it comes to the other LED, because we're comparing their two voltages. So it's the voltage across the LED and the resistor that we're interested in when it is on. So here you can see that uh, ground is actually, uh, we're not going to measure ground, I should say. We're going to go to that side of the LED. That's the more negative side of the load right there. And then the red jumper, we're going to go to the positive supply because that's where that protective resistor comes right there. And there you can see we got the full 5 volts of the supply. And actually, I think we are a spec below the uh, 5 volts right there. You can see it goes up just a little bit. So maybe we need a slightly lower base resistor here, 10 kilo ohms. Maybe we go slightly lower, but I think it's more that the transistor is not a perfect conductor when it's on fully. So a tiny voltage will still build up across it. but but hardly any. So you can't avoid that and it's not a big deal anyways. But uh, in any case, that's it for this video.
Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for watching videos. I will see you in the next video.